Let's finish the function modify position. This function takes in a liquidity delta, updates the position, and it needs to return the amount of zero and amount of token one that either needs to be added or removed. But right now, at the moment, it is simply returning a zero. So what we'll do is write some code that will calculate the amount of token zero and token one that is either needed to add liquidity or the amount that goes out when liquidity is removed. So first of all, I copied and pasted some advanced math libraries from Uniswap V3, which we will be using in this video. The library that we're going to be using is called square root price math. I won't get into the details of how this math works. The function that we're going to need to call in this video are get amount zero delta. This function will calculate the amount of token zero that is needed given the price ranges, P of A, P of B, and the liquidity. And the other function that we'll be calling in this video is called get amount one delta. Again, this will take in the two price ranges and the liquidity, and it will return the amount of token one that is needed. Okay, so going back to our clam contract, after we update the position, we'll calculate amount zero and amount one. Now there are three cases. If the current price is less than the lower price range, if the current price is between the two price ranges, and if the current price is above the upper price range. First, we'll write an if statement, make sure that liquidity delta is not equal to zero. Say so if params dot liquidity delta is not equal to zero. And then inside this if condition, we'll write our three conditions of the price ranges. If slot zero, tick, this will represent the current price is less than params dot tick lower. So that's the first case. The second case is if the current price is between the two price ranges, slot zero dot tick is less than params tick upper. And the last case is if the current price is greater than the upper price range. The simple cases are when the current price is less than the lower price range and when the current price is above the upper price range. Let's start here. When the current price is less than the lower price range, then liquidity will all be in token X or token zero. So let's say amount zero is equal to, and we're gonna be calling square root price math. And the function that we're gonna be calling is this one, get amount zero delta. So I split the screen into two. On top, you see the clamp contract, and on the bottom, you see the square root price math. So the function that we need to call is get amount zero delta. So here I'll say square root price math dot get amount zero delta. And for the first two inputs, we need to pass in square root ratio. So to do that, we'll use the library called tick math dot get square root ratio at tick. And this will be in params dot tick lower. And then the upper tick will be tick math dot get square root ratio at tick at tick upper. And lastly, liquidity will be params dot liquidity delta. So this code over here will calculate the liquidity when the current price is less than the lower price range. And we'll do something similar when the current price is above the upper price range. So I'll copy this code and then paste it here. When the current price is greater than the upper price range, liquidity will all be in token one. And the function that we're gonna be calling is called get amount one delta. The price ranges will not change, tick lower and tick upper, and liquidity delta will be liquidity delta from params. And the final case is when the current price is between the two price ranges. What we're going to do is calculate amount zero and one. So I'll copy this code and copy this code and then change the ticks. Amount zero will be from the current price to the upper price. So say underscore slot zero dot SQRT price X 96. This will be the current price represented in square root price. The upper tick does not change and liquidity delta does not change. For amount one, the price ranges will be from the lower tick to the current price. So paste this and then remove this. And lastly, since we're adding liquidity to the current price, we will need to update the current liquidity. So I'll say liquidity is equal to if params dot liquidity delta is less than zero, then the new liquidity will be the current liquidity minus u int one two eight minus params dot liquidity delta. Otherwise, liquidity will be liquidity plus u int one to eight params dot liquidity delta. Okay, and that completes the function modify position. Let's try compiling the contract. So inside my terminal, I'll type forge build. 
Okay, looks like I have not declared a state variable liquidity yet, so I'll go do that. Go back to clam.sol and then scroll up. We'll declare liquidity as uint128 public liquidity. Okay, let's try compiling the contract again. Forge build and the contract compiled successfully. Inside the function modified position, I forgot to remove this line of code. It's returning an empty position and amount 0 equal to 0 and amount 1 equal to 0. However, we no longer need this since amount 0 and amount 1 are declared as output and position is also declared as output. Now that we're done with the function modify position, this completes the function for mint. So starting from the next video, we'll implement the function to remove liquidity. The function is called burn.